Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard no, no horse sing <laughs> Everybody, sit down. All right. The show is Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin, and we have today Rex Fowler. Hi, Ralph. Nice to be here. Thanks nice for to having have us. You. 
and Neil Schumann, Ralph, better known as you. Aztec Two-Step. Indeed, better known. And there's an interesting story, I imagine, behind how you guys picked that name. Go ahead. There, there is an, yeah. an, an interesting story. There's always an interesting story. Well, you know, we, we met in 1971 in Boston, and um, there were a lot of duos at the time. Uh, there was Brewer and Shipley and Seals Simon and Crofts and Simon and Garfunkel. Loggins and, so, and Messina. Loggins and Messina. So uh, we decided the ring of um, Shulman and Fowler, Fowler and Shulman, <laughs> was not, it was not music to our ears. So we took a line. Rex said, you know, there's a poem by Lawrence Ferlinghetti, and it has a line about a couple of guys walking into this place doing an Aztec two-step. So that was our first. So we, we said, well, he said, why don't we call it Aztec two-step? And I said, great, let's do that. And, you know, and that was our sort of our, our first uh, beat reference, you know, our first jumping off point. It was the 70s, the early 70s, kind of, kind of felt like, the, still felt like the 60s, and uh, so that was where we, we uh, jumped off, and, and then we kind of continued along with sort of our, our connection to our feeling and admiration for the beats being a part of our history. And which, that's which, a, a natural lead into your next tune. Yes, which leads us into uh, the, the song that, that I wrote right. for Kerouac's yes. novel, Jack Kerouac's novel, On the Road. So, and, uh, this of course, what you didn't mention was that Aztec two-step is a form of dysentery, you know, in Mexico, which, of course, Lang. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't realize that at the time. I don't, I, I don't know if it's actually a form, actually. I don't know it's if, you, for, if you look yes. it up in the medical dictionary. I don't know if it's there. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. You know, I haven't, it never occurred to me to check in all these years. But as Rex said, the, the other thing that on, on, we made our first record, we were done with it about a, a year after we met. We were in, Bo in Boston. We were in Los Angeles doing the final mix of the final song of our record and uh, first album. And, and this song about uh, On the Road has kind of become our signature song. It's called The Persecution and Restoration of Dean Moriarty. Man, I can't understand what is wrong with the man Tell me his name if you let him continue. He may get out of hand. Look at him laughing and carrying on like a hydrogenic or an organic bomb. He's alive like a child. He's terribly wild. He's way too much freedom and of course he is wrong. He is wrong. Yes, he was born on the road in the month of July. And he live on the road till the sea for the die, cause he learned from the road how humanity cries, how society lies, he sees them more than his eyes, but looking in and running, don't he know how to walk, he's just too damn cunning, you can tell by his talk, you can tell he is rude, like a typical dude, if you want my opinion, he belongs under lock, he's a bad, bad boy. Forget. He may ride down the road at a hundred 
that that song was on got a lot of airplay on FM radio. It did, yes. It did. And Aztec Two-Step was often ascending. That's right. We were off, we were off in, uh, to our meteoric rise. Yeah, actually, uh, was it uh, not, not Rounder? Who put the, the compilation out for, for um, Electric? Rhino. Rhino Records just put that song on there. What was it? Yeah, this year. That was, that was really nice. And uh, at the beginning of 2007, um, uh, Rhino Records did a a five CD box set called Forever Changing the Golden, it's either the Golden Era or the Golden Age of Electra Records. And it sort of goes from the beginning of Jack Holtzman founding this label with all these, you know, wonderful, real folk, you know, singers from, from the very beginning, Judy Hensky and uh, I think Theodore Bikel and, and, uh, and it kind of goes up and like we just made the cutoff, I think 19, our record came out in 71, and I think 72 was the last year that this compilation goes up to. So, you know, it was kind of our, we were, that's like our star on the walk of, uh, our walk of fame on Hollywood Boulevard, you know. <laughs> so, very exciting. Great. So what else would you like to give us? Well, this, uh, I think, uh, Rabbit yeah, and the we Moon. Yeah, we have a song called The Rabbit and the Moon. And it's, um, starts out, you know, very nice, little, floppy ears and lucky feet, you know, talking about the rabbit, and then it goes right into the nuclear holocaust, so <laughs> something the kids will enjoy, I'm sure. <laughs> they'll need a little therapy after, but they'll enjoy it.
The rabbit is both soft and sweet With floppy ears and lovely feet And though it cannot fly or sing It's never harmed one living thing When the Spaniards brought their holy wars And the conquering conquistadors May the rabbit's blood run cold To see them kill or breed a goat Now modern man has weaponry to blast us all into eternity Designed by our most brilliant minds To kill us all a thousand times Could history repeat once more By this modern day conquistadors Would you think it will need to To see the rabbit in the Yes, indeed. Thank you. At this point in the show, we'd like to give people an opportunity to find out more about your performing schedule, your recordings, so they can contact you at bobby at aztec2step.com, or they can go to www.aztec2step.com yeah. for more information. Absolutely. On these things. Or just Google us. I love that word. That's the easy way. Right. The Google. And uh, you, you have a new album out? By our standards, it's new, yes. It's about, I think it came out in 04. Oh, it came out <laughs> 2004, kind of, yeah. that would be. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, we, we average about one every 10 years, so it's still kind of fresh. <laughs> it's exciting. For us, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Well, it came out at the, uh, at the end of 2004 and, uh, 2000 and uh, beginning of 2005, so. We're still we're still right. in the ballpark. Oh four oh five. Oh four oh five. The se you know we we time our albums to the Broadway season. You know we <laughs> measure it the same way, the fall of the year and then into the spring of the next year. That's so exactly right. Why don't you know you've introduced it? Why don't we play a song from it? Sounds that, like a good idea. How about the title track? Okay. And then we're gonna Neil is gonna sing a song. Believe it or not, he actually sings lead. But uh, this one's uh, the title track. It's called Days of Horses. Back in the days of horses 
top Route 66 U.S. ones, looks and byways Ride on, get your feet and Wheels feel round, round they roll Some too fast and some too slow Radio peels rock and roll the wheel take it for a test drive papa check underneath the hood 500 down we'll swap it ah boy don't it smell Clearly understood Unbridled burst of forces Corralled beneath the hood And pedal to the metal, baby Back seats and sweet sixteens Hot rods and tool and main street Ride on, chase your dreams Feel round and round they roll Some too fast, some way too slow Radio feels rock and roll Turn it up out on the road Ride on, ride on, ride on, ride on. got about four more minutes to, to ha spend with you so oh man time time flies when you're having fun yes indeed thank you again for having us by the way our pleasure yeah and thank all the people behind the cameras and our fabulous studio audience thank you so much yes yeah, sit please we'd love to take you home <laughs> with us we'd love to take Don't you home stand on formality well this is uh this is a song also off the new record and we'll We'll do a little bit. If you want to jump in on a little bit of harmonica with us, Ralph, we could use it. It's a blues. It's a blues song. Uh, we got the blues because in the uh, '70s and the early part of the '80s, Rex and I were had this uh, investment strategy. We were taking a strong uh, market position in certain agricultural byproducts of South America, and it really just didn't work out well <laughs> for us at all. So we had the blues about that. Prozac and Valium, coffee, light and sweet. That's what it takes these days to get me on my feet. Now I'm filled with pharmaceuticals, right down to my cuticles. Life is better these days. That's right. Cocaine and reefer, they didn't do me any good. No, no, no. And that cabinet sauvignon, it just dropped me where I stood. So now I shun the wicked way. But what comes in tablet shape makes life better these days. Play the blues, we're out. Such 
triple espresso, Mr. Starbuck, if you please. But the farmer says, on that Christmas card, yes, cause he fills my script with ease. You know, one, one more refill, doctor. I'm begging on my knees. You make life better. Won't you make my life better? Oh, yeah. You, you know, know you make, make life better. Aztec2step.com for more information about Aztec2step.